Okay, my friends, you are in for a treat. What are we looking at here? This is a crystal cave. It's one of the most spectacular places on Earth. What are these crystals made of? Well, they're made out of selenite, which is a, 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 a mineral. It's called gypsum, really, is, is one of the names of it. Now, how did this form? <laughs> and what is the conditions that we have here? And what is it made of? What's the chemistry? And what is the curvature of this this roof here? What, what, what's all going on here? What are these little spikes sticking out? I mean, it's a crazy looking thing. Let's dig into this and try to figure this out. This is like 99% humidity. It's like a bazillion degrees in here. And uh, underneath all of this, there is a magma chamber. And um, they've done some geology here, and they understand, I think, the area and the conditions, but I don't think they have any clue as to what I think this is. Well, I know they don't have. <laughs> okay, what I intend to show is that crystal cavern there is nothing more than this mineralization. I get into it deeply, but I have some of the same sort of stuff here, selenite, and I will talk about how all this happens. And this is a tendon enthesis. In us, they are microscopic. I showed you that crystal cave, and now let me show you another cave. Okay, my friends, what I just showed you is uh, something that is so enormous that most people would just hysterically laugh and say the guy is just totally insane. Well, this is a blood vessel. <laughs> it's a blood vessel, and that is a mountain, and it is now a cave because it's a blood vessel. And this is the layer that this blood vessel serviced, and this is tissue underneath. And you're going to say, oh, Roger, can you prove that? That's crazy. You have underestimated Roger. All right, my friends, just look at this. This is in my shop. This is a mud fossil. This is the layers of tissue in muscle. There's connective tissue, and then there's red, fleshy muscle tissue. This, there's a bone implant here, and I have the stone here, and it's a big round, an absolutely flawless bone implant with some tendon straps that wrap to it. But this is the glue that glues this little tendon chunk to the muscle, imp I mean the bone implant. Then you have an abrupt transition, and then the muscle starts. So this is primarily tendon. Then the muscle starts here and runs out, and that's where the... So now, how does muscle work? Well, everything works from blood, but muscles primarily have a ton of blood. Well, what is this? That's an artery, that's an artery, and that right there is an artery. And that's all blood running into this whole layer it was blood, just like I showed you at that gigantic cave. And this would have been the blood vessel that would have been in that wall, and right below was that blank spot. And then you had these slabs. It's, just, it's identical. There's no difference whatsoever. It's identical. So that thing was a very large creature. All right. Just remember, I showed you that big blood vessel, then that layer, and then these slabs underneath. No difference whatsoever to the one I have in my shop. And, and I'm going to show you another one, which is a mountain that shows that these muscles are in mountains as well. I did this video and called it, God Issued a Test, Will You Pass or Fail? And the test is, see what's in front of your face, and then everything else will start to make sense. All right, this is muscle mountain, same sort of stuff. It's all loose connective tissue, but this is muscle. Then you have all the red stuff running off, which is the bloody, uh, well, this is the connective tissue. And then again, you have connective tissue, and then you have the bloody muscle tissue within it. That's the stuff that erodes off. That's what this is here and all this erosion is from the bloody um, muscle, basically. And then you end up with this. And then, of course, it fills in with little gravelly stuff and whatever it fills in with. But on the side of a mountain, you can very, very easily see the pattern. I don't think any anatomist in the world would deny that. Okay, my friends, I'm going to ask you to do me a big favor. This is uh, David Reich, and this is his lab, and he's trying to understand our genetic past and our ancient history, and I'd like to have him contact me. That's his email and his phone number and so forth. Um, this is right underneath there, right there in green. Reich at genetics.med.com. 
www.harvard.edu. Now, he is a pretty top guy in this, and um, I would certainly like to interact with him. We didn't interact before because he didn't believe I could get DNA out of rocks, but I'm, it's quite obvious that that's not the case now. And, and um, being that he's an investigator, I'll watch to investigate my friend. <laughs> So, like I said, if you could just drop him a quick email, you know, if we had a, I don't know, a couple hundred people email him, it would be probably, he might take notice. And, um, you know, just link to my video, this video, and um, just mention it. I don't know, don't, you don't have to mention anything. You just say, please look at this. There seems to be significant evidence that needs to be looked at. And um, I'm going to put a link to the DNA and so forth. And uh, we'll see if we can get him to respond because I, I know it's outside of the realm of what anybody would think is, is even possible, but it's not. It's true. So that is the obligation of science is to look for truth wherever it leads you. And this is a this is a safari, my friend. This is not just a stroll. Okay, my friends, I was going to get real deep into it today, just make one gigantic video, but I'm not going to do it. I, what I am going to do is make a part two so this is part one you're just watching now part two we're going to go into ancient dna and a new science of the human past because david reich is deep into the dna and he's the one i want you to contact because we need to get somebody in mainstream academia to pay attention and i i haven't been successful with um i mean i did talk to david reich long ago and uh it, it just he didn't believe i could get any dna out of rocks and um, that's just not the case. Now it's pretty well understood that that's, and it can be tested. It's not a problem to test it. Very simple. So he's an investigator. Well, we're going to try to do some investigation. All right. So part two is going to be very, very deep. All of the chemistry, all of the anatomy, um, the whole thing, preservation, how it happened, geology, the whole nine yards. I will explain virtually everything about these rocks and if anybody wants to confront me that's what I'm asking for not confront just discuss it with me that's all if I'm wrong I'm wrong I could be wrong about things I don't think I'm wrong about much I think I now understand that things are biology and they don't that's my take on it and that's pretty accurate at this moment I believe